All right, it's been a couple of months since the last time I've showed you what I have here as far as my plants go. And let's see if there's any progress. And I'll put bits and pieces in from the last videos just to show you what the differences are. Where shall we start? How about over here with the snake plant? snake plant now it has got a lot of more new leaves and taller my um, this height here it never the the plant where it's sitting right now the, all the leaves were not as high as this and now they've grown much higher like look at that Snake plant. Lighter plant. <laughs> this thing I almost killed. But look at it now. It is so lush and beautiful and so many leaves. Wow. Okay, moving on have the uh, red Maranta. Now I had almost killed this and then this one stem here um, is coming back to life and then I potted some more. I don't think they're going to survive in the back there. That's the uh, that one there is the lime green mar maranta, and this here is the red maranta. Not too much success with that. Although this one is growing. It's got a new leaf here coming again. This one had two leaves on this stem here. So now it has grown, uh, let's see, there's two, so three, four, five new leaves on this stem. And then that was clippings that I put in water. And it did grow, and it looks like there's another new leaf coming there. We'll see what happens. That one might take a hold, the other one not. So, all right, moving on. African violets. I'm not too good with African violets, guys. As you can see, this is an older plant that I purchased that had flat uh that had flowers and all the uh, flowers fell off <laughs> and then kind of wilted away this one here has one flower left and <clears throat> i cut off a bunch of the big leaves and it looks like it some more flowers may be coming but it was it had a lot of flowers in it when i first got it and then these here are baby plants that I've I've planted little baby ones underneath there two different types and then this bigger one on top now those are from clippings and stuff so that's the uh, African violet uh, have jade plants there's one there well, three separate ones, and then one there in uh, Lekka, just to see the difference in growth. That one's doing really well. All those center leaves coming up there are new. This here, I don't, I can't tell whether it, there's anything new or not. I'm trying to make bonsai, but little bonsais out of these. You can do that with jade. It takes a long time, just, just like a bonsai. Okay, moving along here, we have Mother of Thousands in the frontier. That's gone wild. Like, it's just massive. And I didn't really realize how this, how they propagate. The little, the little ones on the leaves, they fall off near, near them, and then they grow in the ground beside them. Or you can do that yourself. I mean, that's how they would propagate in the wild. In the back is pothos, that's a clipping. 
that I've made myself. And down there in the back is the, uh, the cactus. plant and then underneath it is a mother of thousands. One baby plant landed there and started growing. I didn't notice it and all of a sudden, hey, well, I just left it. And in front here is another cactus plant and it's growing well. Christmas cactus is what it is. Down on the bottom we have the blue star fern, blue star fern. It's just bushing out like crazy. Of this is uh, ornamental corn, <laughs> ornamental corn. <laughs> just had a couple of seeds. It's not corn on the cob. It's orna ornamental corn. So I'm, I don't know how big it gets. Back is the pothos, where I took clippings from. That's doing really well. There's little vines growing everywhere, like right in front here. Here is a fern. What kind was this? Ivy. It's an ivy. That's what it is. That's doing really well. It's bushing right out. That's the ivy. This, uh, this one's doing like a fantastic. This philodendron, ah, unbelievable. Another new leaf there. Another new leaf here. And I would say it's got five or six new leaves since the last time I videoed this. And it looks like I could divide it into two here down at the bottom. It looks like two main stems I could divide that into two and repot them they might need repotting anyway and then here another prized my lime green maranta this thing is doing really well it's got uh, it's flowering now that these that they last a day or two if you're lucky and then they that's it for the flowers but the here's some it, this one's going to flower I don't know I can't it's so bright out in the background I, I don't know if you can see that but that will and there's one coming at the top that will there's one there uh, that'll bloom and then one day later it's gone but there's new leaves coming here everywhere. Here's new stem for uh, flowers. There's new leaves coming out here on that stem. Uh, man. New leaf coming out the ends. I wish it would put out new leaves more in the middle here and not always out the end of the, so that it would branch out more. So in other, in other words, to make this a more full plant, you need to make clippings and plant them in the same uh, pot. All right, what's left? My prize plants here. They were, this was one, the, uh, Monstera deliciosa. And um, so I divided it into two. And now this has this is a new leaf for me. Just just a couple of days ago. Biggest leaf of all. Look at the size of my hand compared to that leaf. <laughs> Huge. Every time a new leaf comes out with the fenestrations in it, they're they're big, the leaves are bigger. And on the other plant, here's the new one that just came out a couple of days ago. And they, they reach for the top. Wherever they come out, they reach for the top. And then they push out and they're big. Unbelievable. I even got a couple of, uh, I 
I guess they call them sucker leaves. You want to kind of cut these off. But there's a new leaf coming there, so I thought I'd let it. See, it's going to give energy into those sucker leaves, and you don't need that. You, you need to... Uh, actually, this whole one, one whole section at the bottom here, I could take that right off because that whole s section is sucker leaves. They don't get any fenestrations at all. So, and this one here, I don't think it's putting out any sucker leaves, although it's got two of those. I'll leave those on. That's there. Oh, this one's a fenestrate, fenestrated one. That's okay. It's this one that's got nothing. It's, um, it's it's wasting its energy on that one, so I might have to cut that off. Otherwise, this plant's really doing well. Several new leaves. Looks like they're trying to seek out the sun. Let's turn them so they can. I can look at them. Then they can work their way towards the sun again. Beautiful. Look at that. It's not bushy yet, but it is fantastic. It's amazing the size of those leaves wow all right guys this is it a couple of months later from the last video and like i said i'll pop in bits and pieces from the first one so you can see what it was like unless you want to go back and have a look at my first plant uh video couple of mascots on the bottom there other than that they're right by the sun and I have uh, lighting there too so all right guys until next time